there will be 1,630 versions of the ballot. One for each municipality or district. Manila, for example, will have six versions of the ballot because Manila has six districts. 1,630 versions of the ballot. There will be at least 33,000 different candidates all over the country that should be printed in those 1,630 versions of the ballot. So easy to make a mistake just in the printing. The other, the other risk that I like to mention, there are many, uh, is the delivery of those ballots. It's so easy to make a mistake in delivering the right set of ballots to the right municipality of, or district, especially considering the, uh, the terrain you know, of the Philippines of 7,107 islands. So I wonder how they decided on using PICOS, uh, considering that uh, as late as uh, when the congressional oversight, uh, congressional hearing was conducted, they have, they have decided on the technology, but they have not even conducted even a time and motion study on how long it will take for a voter to fill up the ballot. Okay. And this is... I think, uh, Commissioner? I am. Uh, well, uh, those are valid concerns, but uh, we have already, uh, I mean, uh, consider this. Uh, in fact, uh, this uh, time and motion, uh, there, there will be several persons who will vote at the same time, no? And uh, after voting, it's time that they will fill the ballot to the machine. So it will not take uh, much time. As to the because uh, it was chosen by company because it was recommended by the advisory council, which is a creation of law. Uh, and uh, we were given uh, three options, whether to choose the PCOS or the CCOS, Central Camp, or the DRE. Considering that DRE is uh, quite costly, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and this uh, CCOS or the Central Camp, uh, the county centers are quite far, far. We chose the PCOS uh, because the county will be done as I said, in the Pacific level. Just one follow-up, is that all? The maximum number of voters in El Brasil today is 200. And it's because the maximum, because there will be clustering presents, is 1,000. That's an increase of 200 to 400 percent. So how can you fit 200 to 400 percent into a 37.5 percent increase in the voting period? So see, this is, these are the things that we, IT practitioners, and concerned citizens are so worried about that there does not seem, there did not seem to have a lot of thinking that went into the. Okay, thank you, Gus. Okay. Uh, yeah, may I refer you to our uh, uh, executive director? This being an uh, important technical matter. <laughs> now, definitely, in the school which used to have five classrooms before. Now we will only be using one. Then definitely, we will not install another people's beside it. We will install it between five classrooms away again, so that the usual queue or the problems uh, or clogging or of the corridors will not happen. You know, instead of uh, giving us all those uh, uh, objections, probably it's better if you just help us find a way on, on how to make sure that the elections or the voting will push through. Okay. Thank you. Uh